Steve Richards trying to justify a market adjustment at a car dealership. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? You have arrived at the home of super high intensity training for car buyers. Well, today I'm joined by the amazing Elizabeth as we take a look at Steve Richards' attempt to justify a market adjustment from car dealers. Something he says, car buyers are just going to have to get used to. Well, to that I say, nonsense. As our followers know, the Homework Guy channel prepares car buyers with specific research and things to do before the sale. We give you good car buying strategies and let you know what you'll be aware of. Well, today's video is about those big fat car prices some of you are paying right now, and a car trainer known as Steve Richards trying to justify this market adjustment. Well, let's roll the video and see what Steve has to say. Uh, there's the MSRP, there's your rebate, um, there's the discount, there's the market adjustment, uh, your vehicle. I mean, congratulations, you're going to get $40,000 for that thing, which gives us a balance to finance down here with, after your taxes and fees of that number right there. Um, I'm going to show you pay higher payments than anybody else in the state of North Carolina is going to show you because it's also the most economical way to purchase. At 36 months, you pay fewer finance charges, you uh, pay the vehicle off quicker, get to the dream payment of nothing faster, and you have the... I actually like the fact that Steve is showing 36-month payments, and he's been known to do this on a number of cases. That's really good because some of your car buyers will get sticker shock when you see all of that and maybe it'll wake you up to the fact that uh, you're probably trying to bite off more than you should but if those payments seem way too scary at 36 months probably out of your league just a tip. Freedom to trade or sell sooner if you so desire. At 60 months the payment goes way down so it's more comfortable but it's also more flexible you can gain many of the same benefits i just talked about up here just do it in your own time uses that line all the time there's no penalty for prepaying comfortable well, flexible um, off early and at 48 months it's sort of the best of both worlds cash down the more you put down the more money you save the lower the payment the quicker you pay it off so which cash down works best for you five thousand seventy five hundred or ten thousand I'll do the 10000 Okay, Good that choice. gives you three payment choices right here. Mm -hmm. um, 14 and change, all the way down to 900 and change. With your best of both worlds being at 1100 which one works best for you? Um, I want that um, the 60 months, but that market adjustment price. Um, Don't ever let the car salesman present a deal based on payments. It doesn't matter if you've agreed on the price, if you've agreed on your trade, if you know what you're doing with cash down, you got your finance terms figured out, don't ever let them pitch you on a doggone monthly payment. That is just a joke. Right, and moving through a deal quickly isn't the point. I mean, being thorough, being fair, making sure that you know the car dealer is being honest in everything they say, doing what's right is the right thing, not going fast. Correct. I see that you guys gave me that 40000 for my car, which I think is great. But if you can meet me with forty one four ninety five, dollars 95 Savvy car trade, buyer here. I think I'll do the deal. No. Oh. <laughs> no. What? Funny that he's saying no here, and he thinks when he says no, no means no. What does no mean when it comes out of a customer's mouth to a car salesman? Oh, it just means I need to overcome your objection. Yes, that's exactly what it means. So yeah. come on, car buyer, uh, nail this guy with uh, overcoming his objection to saying no. Give it to him. I need you to pick one of these payments. No. No. <laughs> well, I want the 60 months, like 968. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but if we can meet each other. No. Why stay? No. Um, you know, the bad news is there is such a short supply of these vehicles and such high demand that we have to put a fourteen ninety five market adjustment. That's the bad news. Right. That's the bad news. Well, what Steve will never say is that the really bad news is, is that this is a terrible time to buy a car. True. Record profits at dealerships. So he would like to present all of this as if costs and everything have gone up. But record profits for car dealers right now. Out of sight. Terrible time to buy a car. The good news is there's such a shortage of used vehicles that you're going to get $40,000 for it instead of the 35 it was worth last year. So the 35 story is pure nonsense. 
because while used cars are getting better trade evaluations and the numbers are up, watch what he does here on the price of the vehicle that he's trying to sell her. So when he explains how supposedly this trade went up by 5,000 bucks, watch how much he claims that the, the price of his vehicle, so this market adjustment, that's the number he's gonna focus on, watch how much he says the new car supposedly went up. You would think if it's simply just a slide of the market, the number would also be 5,000 bucks, but pay attention to what Steve Richards says here. So if you subtract 1,500 from 30, from 5,000, basically you're coming out $3,500 ahead. Go ahead and Complete initial that BS. payment and sign right there for me. Mm, no, Steve. Actually, <laughs> I've seen that your sister's store actually has the same vehicle and they told me that would give me the um, 14, the 1495 extra for my trade. Boom. Yeah, way to go. Boom. Informed car buyer, did her homework. She has the information from other dealers. In fact, even a sister store of the one that Steve said. Right, in. so we can't really, can't really argue with her about it because they're connected. Yeah, he, she, she's not taking any crap from him. But I want to go back to this thing. Steve claims that they're giving $5,000 more for her trade than they would have last year. So now he's claiming this market adjustment is only fourteen ninety five. Well, keep in mind that the fourteen ninety five. This is a new car he's talking about, a new truck. He's putting this fourteen ninety five on top of MSRP. Now, the reason why this is really important is that going back to twenty nineteen and even into a big chunk of twenty twenty, what was going on and has been for years is that new car dealers go down to invoice, which is a lot lower than MSRP, and then many of them also take the hold back out, which can be 750, 1500. So also that can be hundreds and even thousands of dollars in addition. So where the car was being sold was invoice less hold back. That's a number that's much lower than MSRP. And Steve is adding this 1495 market adjustment on top of MSRP. So what are the chances that there's a $3,500 gap to the benefit of the customer? Zip, zero, nada. Right. And if that was true, dealers wouldn't be reporting record profits. So you know that's completely working in the favor of the dealership. The store. We... Um, that store? <laughs> yeah. He's stunned. Yeah. Okay, they don't have the same truck. If they had the same truck, you'd be over there. Okay. Look, he's saying that without having even a freaking clue what inventory they have at the other store. Right. No clue at all. Lying through his teeth here. Okay. I just like the color of this one, but okay. I, you know, the color is not the biggest. How long do you plan on keeping this truck? For about five years. It's a diversion. Can't answer the question? Ask a different question. That's a salesman tactic. You're going to pay a whopping $25 a month for the right color. Try to break it down to the ridiculous. Yep. That's part of the training. So he's going to make it sound like 25 bucks for the right color. Which is a little bit less than a dollar a day for the right color. Look, I told you this was going to be fun today, right? <laughs> oh, wow, before, his face does not look fun. Before he's starting to get pissed. Here's the funny part is that he says a dollar a day. You know, it's so condescending. Yeah. The, the, these guys, the ego is just unreal. And Steve doesn't exactly like getting pushed around. You know what, by the way, for our viewers, if you ever go and comment on any of Steve's videos and give him a gut check, watch how quickly he calls you a worm and all these other names. He gets angry with anybody that disagrees with him. And he doesn't particularly like that we're doing reactions to his sales videos and then sharing that information with you guys. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have we had a good time? Not really. Not really. <laughs> I didn't get that 1495 yet. Okay, well, forget the fun part then. I told you to be fast, right? Yeah. You're slowing us. Hey, you just mentioned about fast not being the point. Remind your viewers what the point in a car deal actually is. The point is being thorough and being so that they're being fair and honest with you. Yes. Doing it right. Yeah. You doing what's right. You getting the deal that's right. So take whatever time necessary to make sure that happens. But don't buy any of this fast nonsense. Quick, quick, sign here, sign here, sign here, sign here. Yeah, if you did all of that without even thinking about it, that would be to their advantage. But... You know what's the irony of is when does a car purchase ever go fast? 
well, they want to take hours and hours in the finance office to cram things down your throat and, you know, extended warranties and extra products and mud flaps, and you could be there for half a day. <laughs> yes, yes, very easy. So they keep using the word fast while going incredibly slow. Yeah. Down because I'm not I'm not taking this off. Oh, I gotta I gotta bring this back. Yeah. Okay, well, forget the fun part then. I told you to be fast, right? Yeah. You're slowing us down because You're I'm not us down. I'm not taking this off. Okay, you know, I'll tell you what I'll do. Okay, because you seem to be a delightful human being, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put an X through that fourteen ninety five. But I'm also going to give you fifteen hundred dollars less for your trade. Is that cool? No. No, it's not cool. But that's the apples to apples comparison. Now, here's what you should the customer right here thank him for like trying to slap her in the face. I think she should have walked by now. If the other dealership was willing to work with you and they're being more fair and honest and you knew it was out there, forget the color of your truck. Get up and leave. Go get the right vehicle for you. Get out of his office. Yeah. Can do. You can wait. Yeah. All right? Because oh, sooner Bingo. or later, Great right idea. around January or February of 2023, um, this 1495 will probably come off because that's when the chip shortage is supposed to be over. That's only 19 months from now. Pay close um, attention however, to that. However, the prices of these trucks, do you think they're going to go down? Mm. No, no. They, they never go down. But you know what is going to go down? The value of your trade-in. Yes, because that always happens. Dealers are always trying to push the value of your trades down. And as he just said, these big, fat, inflated prices, he's saying, what are the chances the prices of these trucks are going to go down? Zip. Yeah. Yeah. There'll be some correction that takes place going into 2022 and in 2023. But manufacturers are notorious and dealers are notorious for always making prices go up. Yep. That's what's going to go down. Maya, you picked out the right truck. Obviously, we had to have that, and our price had to be fairly attractive, or you wouldn't be here. You're doing what you've always had to do in order to get yourself a good deal. Maya, these are very strange times we're in right now. Strange indeed. You are absolutely fortunate to have picked out a truck that is perfect for you. Mm -hmm. um, you know what's really strange is that an old fart like Steve is trying to still push these old school principles on car buyers of today. And they got people like us, the homework guy and several others that are helping car buyers. Hey, Steve, everybody's onto your gig. You know, come up with a different sheet of music to sing off of. Not very many people have these. You are absolutely super lucky to have such a wonderful truck yourself that brings $40,000, which is at least five grand more than- Hey, wait a minute. He just said, I, I don't know why this didn't come to mind earlier, but he just said that her trade is worth $40,000. What are the odds that this truck needs to be traded in right now? What are the odds that she can't wait the whole 19 months, he just said, before the market makes an adjustment? What are the odds? I think she should just keep the truck she's got. Keep the $40,000 truck you have. That's the cash value, wholesale, va wholesale value yeah. of that vehicle. Keep that $40,000 truck. That thing has so much life in it. Come on, you don't even close to need a vehicle right now. That's what our buyers our viewers out there should be picking up out of this video. This gal does not need a truck at all. Would have last year at this time, mm -hmm. but next year at this time, it's not gonna bring $40,000, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So do yourself a favor. I wanna bring you back to some dates because remember he said, it'll be 2023 before the chip shortage ends and the prices like this market adjustment comes off the truck. So two years from now. And then he claims here in this statement, that her vehicle is going to be worth five grand less next year, one year from now. Isn't that funny? So which is it, Steve? Is the chip shortage going to be gone and the prices of everything dropping next year? Or is it the year after? See, he can't even keep his story straight. Go back and watch the video, you guys, and you'll find out he says that exactly. 2023 is when the chip shortage is supposed to be done. And yet he's claiming to her, her truck is worth five grand less next year, same time. Okay, that right there. Um, I think I'll just think about it. Think yeah. about it. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, I think I'll just think a, about it. This is a big it. purchase. Steve <laughs> just got his butt kicked by an informed customer. Yeah, way to go. Way to go. And more importantly, uh, an informed customer that did what? She pushed back. She didn't fall for the BS. Correct. So it's not just being informed and it's not just understanding what you're after and what you need to get, but it's pushing back. And then in the end here, her willingness 
to walk. In summary, you guys, it's just a terrible time to buy a car. This gal didn't need a truck. Her, her trade-in was worth $40,000 in actual cash value. Yeah, you don't need a vehicle. Hold on to it. Wait for when the market becomes more reasonable and buy then. Don't be foolish about this. So only buy if you must. Wait, wait, wait for it. <laughs> if there's any way that you can't, yep. just wait. If you appreciated this video today, consider giving us a great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy and look for us on any of your favorite social media platforms out there. There's a list on the screen here and they're down in the description box below. If you're new here, check out all the other videos we have. We've reached over 45 million people now and you might as well benefit from all that great content out there. That's absolutely correct. And if you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links you see here will also be easy to find in that description box down below or on our website. But no problem if you can't do a tip. The best way to help us out is to share this with your family and friends so they can get just as lucky as you and encourage them to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. We're here to represent you guys, the car buyers, and that's exactly what we do. Well, thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter with The Amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.